Hi Tinker Teachers, Daniel Rizak here from Tinker. Uh, and this video is gonna walk you through how to create a new Tinker class. Uh, and we're not gonna use Google logins or Clever logins for this. We're just gonna use a classic Tinker Teacher login. Uh, we're gonna create some students uh, that way as well. So uh, let's begin. All right, so um, I'm gonna start here from the beginning here and I'm gonna log in as a Tinker Teacher. So if I sign in, I go to Teacher. Uh, and then over here, I, I log into my teacher account. And right there. So we're not, uh, not doing Google, not doing Microsoft or, or Clever here. So I haven't logged in in a while, let's pretend. And uh, what I have is a class here, let's say it's from last year. So what do I do with that class? Uh, well, the, what I would do is I would archive that to clean things up a little bit. Now, if you archive it, I highly recommend you archive it. Uh, don't delete your classes uh, because you want to save any student projects in there. Save any, save any student progress uh, from last year. Uh, that can totally uh, you know, be archived. So let's go ahead and archive that. Uh, and now I have no active classes. I have to create a new class. Uh, so let's go ahead and start that process. So let's uh, type that, Mr. Rezacs. Coders and 2018, and we'll just make this my second one there. And I'm going to choose fourth grade, and it's going to auto assign two courses as well because I'm uh, this is a free teacher account. So, my next thing in order to get my free course is I have to add students. In another video, uh, I have I show you how to. Uh, have students log in using a join code over here. In this video, we're gonna focus just on this add students button. And so what's nice is this year, we've actually made some improvements to this. So uh, uh, instead of adding Google accounts for my students, in this video, we're gonna focus on uh, Tinker accounts for our students. And we've added a few uh, updates to this feature where if I wanted to add multiple rows, then I could add um, you know 20 students here. Uh, and then I could start typing in their names. And uh, maybe I'm looking off a spreadsheet or keep going down the list until you have all your students there. Uh, and these could be new students or these could be students that have existing accounts. So if you have students with existing accounts, you're gonna wanna make sure that you um, uh, use their correct usernames there. So next, we have another great feature here, and I like this because if you're really focused on privacy, uh, you can auto-generate your student usernames and passwords. So what's cool about that is that, you know, basically you don't have to worry about creating logins that accidentally give away like, you know, years of graduation or birth or anything like that. And you can create a prefix. So if you had, say, you know, a school mascot, you could use a prefix like that and then generate those. And what you have here is some great, easier logins for students, uh, maybe that are younger. And uh, we could also show those passwords there as well. Put in all your student names, and then you can click one button, add students. So I've added 21 students to this class, uh, and it's auto-assigned my two lessons. And if I wanted to print out those student login cards, I could do that right here. Print that, uh, and I'm gonna go to my lessons to see what I have. So if I were a uh, uh, subscriber to our paid curriculum, I could then go to the add course here, go to my plan and choose a uh, course there and add that to my, uh, to my class. So let me go back here and just uh, go over one more thing. Let's say you have a new student, uh, you've added your students, but you, you add a, have a new student that walked into class, you have to add that individual student well, you can go to your student list and then you can go back to add students. And here I can click on that button again, add my one student as a Tinker account, first name, last name. There we go, add that student. Uh, and you will see that if you're somebody who loves uh, spreadsheets or you have a, a really big uh, class and you're, you know, maybe you're putting all of your sixth graders in one class, uh, you could use a roster here. And I'm not gonna do that in this video, I'll do that in another one. But basically, you know, we have a nice formatted spreadsheet for you. You can upload that class roster. So that is it. That's how to create a class, how to actually archive an old class, create a class using a Tinker Teacher account, and also how to auto-generate usernames 
and passwords uh, for that account. So have fun and good luck.